Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer, Treehouse, and it is King Julius, guys. I bought more of these beers than I bought of any other beers. I bought with the combination mix packs and stuff that they included a couple. I had ended up with 11, two four packs, and then the rest of them were in the mix pack. So. 11 of these and these are world class beers guys I I reviewed this before and it blows me away every time it is at the top of the list for me and I'm expecting this to be just as tasty as their predecessors uh, 8.2 percent on this one guys says King Julius is an American double IPA brewed to be an exceptionally flavorful juicy and hot saturated beer while never tiring the palate. Its vivid citrus aromas give way to flavors of orange creamsicle and I'm a sucker for that flavor too. Uh, mango smoothie and bounty of fresh tropical fruit. That all sounds absolutely fantastic to me. Uh, we find it to be supremely soft in the midst of an onslaught of flavor. A beer we are quite proud of. And I would be too, guys. I mean, this is this is at the top of the list, like I said, for me. Uh, it doesn't get a whole lot better than this for me. So, uh, changed up some stuff. Got a little different camera angle and beer positioning. So, uh, what do y'all think? Uh, that worked for y'all? All right, I hope so. Uh, we go into oops, these fighting these ants guys. Uh, go get some spray tomorrow. Anyway, uh, everybody knows uh, three houses in Massachusetts, and you have to pick their beers up at one of their outposts. And I think they have like four. I'm sure it, uh, it's at least four. So. They control the distribution. You have to go to their place to get it. But, you know, with that many different facilities, they try to appease as many people as possible. So, downside of that, folks like us that are further away and can't get there, don't get them unless something happens along the way, which everybody knows what's happened, and I got my hand on these. Underneath it says, The Return of the King 22323. And again, guys, I remind you, we're trying to get the older ones out of that package that uh, Chris uh, uh, brought back for me. Uh, and this is uh, one of the older ones, uh, February 23rd. Top to top. Man, the beer is setting up a little higher than it used to, so y'all probably getting a different little different view. Swirly swirl! Alright. Spinning around there, they are very proud of that logo. They absolutely are. Finger and a half of head, guys, that looks just like orange juice in the glass. So, I mean, appearance, 10. No doubt. To the nose. Wow. Vanilla, orange, Cream sickle. It's got a real pleasant the mango, tropical fruit notes, oranges, grapefruit. It's got it all. I mean, it's it's got it going on there. That's a whale of a combination for hops and malt to come up and end up with this. I would be proud of it too. Cheers. Wow, absolutely perfect, perfect. For me, this is the perfect beer, guys. It's not too light, 
not too heavy out. I'm not drinking a 5%. I'm not drinking a 15%. I'm down there around the 8, somewhere between the 8 and 9. That is the perfect range for my palate to get the, the, the full bodied mouthfeel that those recipes usually bring to those mops. Uh, or the 7% and less, say 6.9 and less in the alcohol. It, it, it tastes like a light beer to me, so I can taste the thinness of it. So. Where these beers are full bodied, there's enough malt to satisfy my palate for for a full bodied beer. So, mm -mm -mm. and again, I can, you know, they limit you on how many of these that you can get. So, grab them while you can. That's what I say. All right, guys, we're gonna go sip on this, but y'all pretty much figure where it's at going. Uh, this is the. Uh, the top of the at the top of the list. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while now, at least an hour. <sighs> that aroma is just mm -mm. and I. There are sweeter smelling beers and uh, some more tropical fruit, noty beers, if that's the word. Uh, but this one is a, like a perfect blend for my palate and. Uh, I really like this beer. A lot of subscribers, I don't know, a lot. I've had some subscribers ask me if I was deserted on a desert island and only had one beer that I could drink. I could live with this. Final show. And the best part of a King Julius beer for me is I got 10 more to drink. Yeah! Absolutely a 10 for me guys. I mean I can't think of anything that I could say to, that I would change or, or want more of. I mean it's it works for me. It absolutely works for me. It's a 10. I would probably give it a 11 if I could but my scale only goes to 10. But uh, dates on this one, they are getting a little lackluster on some of them not being dated. Uh, <clears throat> and we will probably get into that a little bit more as the Treehouse Beer Reviews continue because I've got some in there and I have looked that don't have any date on them and I'm not happy about that. But more than likely they could care less. <laughs> get over it. That's probably what they're going to say. Get over it. Uh, but to get that tan from this guy it's got to have that on it so as long as I see 8.2 percent and it's got a date on the bottom of one that tells me it was put in the can it is eligible for the tan grade if you don't have one or the other you're probably not going to get that from me even if it is gotta have it guys if you can't give me those two best information, I'm going to spend my money somewhere else. Somebody that does tell me that. So, you get over it, okay? Alright, so let's get back to this. It's 10 for me. Over to Beer Advocate. 100 work class. Imagine that. Yes, it is. And over to Untap. 4.63. Definitely the, some of the best numbers I've seen over that ever. When you get into the 4.6 and up from them, and I don't think I've ever seen a 4.7. There may be out there, but I don't think I've had one. So somewhere in between a 4.6 and 4.7, if you can get your beer into that range, especially with 58,000 beer reviews or comments on this beer, <laughs> You're doing something right. I mean, and that tells you that many reviews, a lot of people have drank this and commented on it, and for it to have that high of a rating still after almost 60,000, it's blowed a lot of people away to still have that, that high score, guys. So, if you can absolutely get your hands on this, it is, to me, one of the best ones made. So, 
top notch beer guys so if you've had the King Julius the 2023 edition let me know what you think is it a good beer <laughs> until we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge